Timothy 3. Remember, it's the opposite of this. 1, 6, 10, 6, 9. Bring the 1 down, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. And this is 0 like it's supposed to be. So how do I have this factor so far? I have factored out an x plus 3, and what's left? If this was x to the 4, what's this going to be? x cubed plus 3x squared plus x plus 3 times this x plus 3, I divide it out of 0. Now, what's nice about this cubic that's left? I think I can group it. How do I know I can group it? Look at this first group. Pull out x squared, what are you left with? x plus 3. Pull out 1, what are you left with? x plus 3. So I can group. Greatest common factor in the first group was x squared times x plus 3. In the second group, what is it? 1 times x plus 3. Then you got your x plus 3 in common. And what's left of the other one? x squared plus 1. So that leaves me x plus 3 I'm bringing down. That's all x plus 0. So then what? Yes. Dean, Maryland, to the guy's office, please. All right. Thank you. X plus 3 equals 0, so X is negative 3. We really already knew that. Then I'll set X squared plus 1 equal to 0. So I move the 1, what does that give me? Negative 1, then I square root both sides, so what does X equal? Plus or minus I. So what are my, all my zeros? Negative 3 and plus or minus I. What happens if I write that? How many answers are we supposed to have? Three. How many did I just give you if I write that? I gave you two of them. Three, negative three plus I, negative three minus I. How many of those two that I gave you are right? None of them. Okay. Um, that comma is very, very important. You never, comma could be a lot more important on a math paper than it is on an English paper. <laughs> You said it while I said that, too. You, too. You tell him I said that. A lot more. <laughs>